Owning a vintage boat is all about preserving a piece of, of history. We had significant boat works in these areas, the Lyman Boat Works being one in Sandusky, Ohio, and, and the Matthews uh, Boat Works in Port Clinton. So while those businesses are long gone, their products very much remain uh, today. So the idea of being able to restore a Lyman boat that generations to come might appreciate, uh, particularly the history of this area, was pretty compelling for me personally. We both were very active in 4-H growing up. And 4-H uh, has an international program called International 4-H Youth Exchange. We were both assigned randomly to the Netherlands. We actually met on the way over to the Netherlands. And then we always say it was in the cards because um, before Bob went on the IFI program, he had decided to work on his master's at the University of Maryland. And I live 15 minutes away. We're the proud owners of an, an 18 Lyman. This boat was built by the uh, Lyman Boat Works uh, in Sandusky, Ohio in 1954. Uh, the story begins actually back in the early 70s. I was a new teacher at uh, Huron, Ohio in the Huron City School System and was hired to implement a uh, very innovative uh, form of career education. We had tremendous students, and one in particular was uh, Dwight Davis. When we started getting into high school, my older brother was always after my dad. He's like, we gotta get a boat. You know, all my friends have boats, and or their parents have boats, and my dad would always be like, no, nah, we got a canoe. So he was this 18 Islander. Dad bought it, needed some work. We started working on it. And I really fell in love with how a wooden boat is built, the structure the beauty of varnished wood, the beauty of the curves. You can't get really ugly curves when you bend wood. So that just really captivated me. Even after my dad had moved on to a new Tierra and I had other bigger wooden boats, this boat was something that was just not to be discarded and so it sat for 37 years. I spotted it in a barn uh, behind Dwight's business and began to basically fall in love with the boat. It, we, we discovered that it was a unique boat for Lyman because it's a side steer. And uh, the boat was designed uh, primarily for people who love to walleye fish on Lake Erie. And given that Cindy and I really enjoy uh, fishing, the boat took on special interest for me in particular. One day he said, well, you know, if we were to refinish a boat, I would name it the Miss Cindy Lynn. And I was like, aww. <laughs> so, <laughs> so then I talked to, to Dwight and you know, we went from there. Dwight said, you can have the boat, which she took him up on and gave to me as a, a birthday gift for my 66th birthday. What we really wanted was an A to Z experience. And it, truly, it is an experience in terms of restoring a wooden boat. Uh, we, we wanted to be able to do everything that's required to bring uh, a boat like this 18 Islander, you know, back to original condition. Dwight was very clear with us on, on two things. Number one, we were going to work to his standards, right? And secondly, he was very clear on the fact that we were not doing this for investment reasons, we were doing this for preservation reasons. We like to restore things. Um, we've done this with some other things too, you know, furniture. We refinished the cottage. We had some experience with refinishing things. And there's just a sense of satisfaction in, you know, working on something and then it's done. You get it to a certain point and you feel really good about that. We started the restoration work in October of uh, 2018. And, uh, and then finished it in July of 2020. And so they did a lot, I mean the hours, and I've told you, don't even add them up because you don't really want to know how much time you have in it. You just want to look at the end of, I've got a beautiful boat that my family's going to use for generations to come, and how great to do that in an old wooden boat.
Ha, 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 ha.